Hello and welcome back to Monday Minute Live, the show where we support you. I'm Kip. And I'm Evan. And we're going to talk a little bit about fear today, or as Frank Herbert, the author of Dune, liked to call it, the mind killer. This episode is fight, flight, or think. And the reason we say that is because when we experience a negative emotion, the amygdala of the brain, the fight or flight center, gets activated. The blood flow goes there, therefore the oxygen, therefore the energy. Therefore, that's where most of the work in the brain is being done. And the problem is we are only given a limited set of options when using that area of the brain based on how to eliminate this threat to us or how to get far away from it. We do some crazy things when those are our only options. <laughs> and what most of us don't realize is we've been operating in a system of institutionalized fear for literally thousands of years. So it's led us to a point where we're warring all the time or we're fleeing all the time, i.e. let's go to Mars. That makes no sense. It, that's such a perfect example of what we're talking about. The amygdala has the ability and capacity to think. It's still an intelligent human brain mechanism, but the options that it comes up with are in such a limited range, they're not going to be necessarily the healthiest, the most harmonizing, the most unifying. And let's face it, we are completely interdependent upon each other, so if we're not finding harmony, we're not finding solutions. And this is really what conscious evolution in, in large part about is taking and thinking, are, are we making our decisions, are decisions being made for us, and are these decisions of love, not fear? So what we're proposing in support of you is that we take an emotional pulse, recognize when we're experiencing a negative emotion over anything, and use that opportunity to stop and check out of what's going on, get quiet in our mind, breathe, until we calm that emotion away. Then we can think, what do I really want? What's the solution here? What are good options? What does my heart desire? This is our life story to write. It's but a mad story. It's a real mad one. But we can make it a mad love story. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Come over to souldocumentary.love. We're going to give you and some love more us. love there. Love us, because we're going to love you back. It's a mad love story. We'll see you next week. Come on. Two, three, four. Let's write a mad love story. One that is ours, not mine. Let's write a mad love story since we lost our minds. We love you. <laughs>